Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back. As you guys can see, I have a little bit of a change of scenery behind me right now. I'm currently sitting on my dining room floor. I wanted to keep today's video a little bit more lighthearted, just an easy, easy fun video with everything that's going on right now. I just, I don't know about you guys, I need like a stress reliever. I'm definitely feeling the stress. I'm sure you guys are. This, this whole world, it's insanity right now and I it's, it's scary it is so I hope you guys are doing well I hope everybody's safe but yeah I wanted to do a quick little makeup tutorial but these have been my go-to products for when I just want an easy everyday makeup look which has pretty much been my go-to recently a lot of these have been staples over the last year but I do have two brand new products to talk about here today so we'll talk about those and yeah I wanted to show you guys my hopefully quick makeup application here this video though was inspired by a TikTok actually I've just been absolutely TikTok obsessed. I just discovered it over the last week or two and talk about stress reliever. That is, oh my gosh, it just brings a smile to your face. Watch this one video by Christelle Lim. She has a YouTube channel here and the video just made me laugh. It was so relatable and here, you know what? I'll just, I'll play it right now. Hopefully, I don't know how this works with copyright and all that, but I'm pretty sure it's okay to include this in the video, but if it is, you'll be seeing it now. <laughs> How funny. Oh my gosh. I'm like that. That's me in a nutshell right there. That's my everyday life. I'm, you know, running around the house. We're getting ready to leave. I'm throwing on some makeup. The kid, But the kids are just cool as cucumbers in there. Just, you know, eating their breakfast, acting like it's totally fine no stress mom's getting everything she can handle it which i don't know why i'm running around like a man woman i mean where are we going we're going to target swiss farms maybe out for a walk but i think when you have little ones a baby and a toddler especially you're just always on a time crunch you're trying to get out during that one hour window before the morning naps and you don't want to be out during lunchtime because you're going to have a major meltdown it's just all about planning when you have little ones so it's I just really related to it but I wanted to show you guys how I do my makeup and what products I use so without further ado let's just get started so I always make it a habit to throw on some sunscreen I've been using the Paul's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid I definitely I mean I switch between a ton of different sunscreens but this is the one that I really like especially recently underneath makeup because it's super thin and lightweight it blends in nicely and it just feels like nothing on the skin I had a dermatologist appointment a few weeks ago and she actually told me we were talking about sun protection and she was asking, you know, the steps in my skincare routine and I told her that I was moisturizer before I apply my SPF. She actually told me that I was diluting my SPF with my moisturizer, which I had never really thought about before. I know Dr. Dre just recently posted a video on that exact topic. I, ha I haven't watched it yet, but I'm so curious to see her thoughts on it. And you know what, now that I think about it, a lot of my sunscreens, especially like the Josie Marin, that one gives me so much moisture. I, I guess I really don't need an extra moisturizer beneath it, but yeah, so I'm really, I really think about that a lot these days. But okay, next I'm going to apply the new Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. This is basically like a tinted moisturizer. So this is brand new to their line. Last I checked, it was only available on their website. I've been testing this out for about a week now and I really like it, especially for the fact that my skin has been so dry, so parched. Foundations that I always counted on to be, you know, nice and hydrating have just not been enough for me recently. And this, I have to say, is probably one of the most moisturizing hydrating foundations slash tinted moisturizers out there or at least that I've tried with that said my skin's really dry right now so if you have oily skin I really don't think you would like this I must say it can slide around it's pretty oily as you can see it has a nice it's there's a very dewy finish you do have to set it but be careful because my last video was the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale I set it with a bronzer I never even used a finishing powder I just threw on a bronzer I think I was rushing I I put the girls down for their naps and this is usually the case I throw my makeup and it's just not 
the best, most precise makeup application sometimes. I didn't realize that the, the bronzer was actually catching these wet, more oily areas, and it definitely just made my makeup look pretty patchy. So, but that usually is the case with most dewy foundations, I feel. I mean, a lot of them don't really set. If you use a nice finishing powder, though, it does give a nice, you know, even finish, but just be careful. Um, it doesn't have the longest wearing time, but again, that is usually the case with a dewy finish. I just think it really makes your skin look super healthy. Like, check that out. It looks like I spent a ton of time on my skincare, which I really appreciate. So, I have been liking it, but I will say, I bet you in the summer, I think I'll be re-reaching for the CoverGirl Skin Milk Foundation. That foundation is very similar in that it, you know, it just has nice light coverage. It's a little bit more, it lasts longer, it has a better dry down time. It has the same amount of coverage, the same amount of dewy shininess to it, but this is just a little bit more oily. Obviously, it has the maracuja oil in here, so you're going to get more emolliency from it, more of a slip from this foundation. So if you like that, you might like this one a little bit better. If you have super dry skin, I think you would really like this. Like I said, really moisturizing, super hydrating. Tarte did send this out to me, which, oh my gosh, I completely, I jumped up and down when I saw their email that they wanted to send me something. I was so excited, but I told you guys time and time again, I will always be honest, especially even with PR. With that said, I have to say, even though this really excited me, I'm even more excited by this little sponge that they sent out. Why didn't anybody talk about this? Oh my gosh, this is one of the best foundation sponges I've ever tried. Not even just foundation, powders, bronzers, cream, uh, blushes. It's just so good. It's the perfect amount of like squish to it. It feels exactly like the Flower Beauty sponge, only that sponge, the shape is a little off for me. This sponge is so genius and it's $16, $4 cheaper from the Beauty Blender. So this is actually my favorite thing that they sent me. Imagine that. But yes, I really appreciate Tarte sending me out some things. That was very exciting. Going go in with a corrector underneath my eyes, whether that be concealer or lately I've just been reaching for the Becca under eye corrector. The littlest bit goes such a long way. All you need is a teensy dot. Did you see that brightness I got? So great, it's just a miracle worker. I love that product so much. Now let's, oh gosh, the light just came in, the sun just came out. I'm gonna add some bronzer. I'm looking very pale right now. I've been loving the Bare Minerals Endless Summer Faux Tan Bronzer. The shade is Faux Tan. This is a great cool tone bronzer. It's great because you can use it all over the face but also as a contour. I'm gonna go in with my Ego Tools powder brush. And then I'm just gonna do a quick little nose contour using the same bronzer. As I've gotten older, I've definitely come to appreciate my Italian nose. I'm just like, you know what? It's what makes me me. But I'm not opposed to a little bit of contour on a daily basis. I mean, you know, what, what does it hurt to apply a little something that makes you a little bit more confident, you know? All right, so quick and easy there. Now I'm gonna go in with some blush. I'm gonna use the Jouer Rose Gold Blush Duo. One of my favorite blush combos, oh my gosh, the one side is a peachy pink and the other side is more of a cool toned pink. I'm gonna go for the cool toned pink today. Just a little, a little dabble do you, you know, just a little bit on the apples of the cheeks. Why do I do that with my mouth when I put on blush? It's so bizarre. All right, now's the time when both of my girls will probably be screaming for something. My toddler will probably be wanting her lemonade and the baby would be trying to pull her dolls away from her. <laughs> but it's so cute though. I, they're having their first fights, which I think is so funny because obviously the baby's only 10 months old, but she's starting, she just started to crawl. So she's crawling over to her when she's playing and my three-year-old gets so, so upset. It's so funny. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. It's just such fun ages right now. The things my three-year-old says is just hilarious. And then the baby just saying everything she does on a daily basis. She's always doing something new. It's, it's just a blast. So as crazy it is as it is around here, it's it's really fun. But okay, for my brows, I'm gonna use the NYX Precision Brow Pencil. This has been my go-to over the last probably two years. It's funny, I, I was saying in the beginning how, you know, I still apply makeup on an everyday basis, even if I don't leave my house, because it really does make me more productive. Like I actually, I wanna go outside. It doesn't make me self isolate in a way. Like I'll actually venture out to my mailbox when my mailman's there and I don't wait till he's at the end of my block. <laughs> but are you guys the same way? Like it just happened this morning, my, the baby had 
you are smelling diaper of life, sorry if this is TMI, but I wanted to run it outside before the trash guys got there. And of course, you know, my hair's on top of my head. It's a grease pit. It looks like a rat's nest, no makeup on. I holes in my leggings probably for, I don't know why my whole leggings get holes in them but I looked like a mess and of course one of my neighbors was outside they're like hey how's it going how are you holding up over there <laughs> good I'm fine I'm good just don't look at me <laughs> oh gosh but yeah I really I avoid going outside when I'm not even if it's just like a little bit of foundation or something it just makes me feel a little bit more put together I don't know and it gives me more energy too for whatever that's worth I don't know what that's about so I'm just throwing a little bit more bronzer on my eyes. Same color bronzer. It just adds a little bit of warmth. And then it also, it lifts the eye too. My eyes have some aging. They're definitely more hooded. So I like to add a little bit of color just in that area where you would add a transition color. Just to lift the eyes, just to make them look a little bit more awake. All right, and for some liner, I always do a tiny little wing liner, and my favorite has been the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I actually used this for a while, and I lost it. I repurchased it. I was using my Makeup Revolution, and I definitely was missing this. This is just, there's something about this. Super pigmented, and the lasting power is just insane. So I just, I love this. Okay, and then we'll go for mascara. The ABH. I just posted, I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> I just posted a review of this on my Instagram. I've been loving this. There's just something about this. In the way it thickens, but yet it still gives you precision at the same time. Like it separates each lash, but you still get that volume from it. And it actually lifts from the base. Like it, the formula is so good. I expected this to be super clumpy because of the brush. Let me zoom you in a little bit here. It's really not that clumpy. It's just formula I've been loving it now I have to say the lasting power isn't great I do find that it flakes ever so slightly if you pack it on it's gonna flake even more but you don't get any smudging or like raccoon eye check out that difference oh my gosh you guys I'm obsessed is it better than a drugstore mascara though is that's the question probably not I could get the same result from a lot of my Essence mascaras, but I've really been enjoying using this. I think it holds up really well. It's just a fun mascara to use. It's one of those that gives you instant satisfaction. I will say that is probably the biggest difference between this mascara and the Essence mascaras that I love so much, is that you just get that instant lift, the instant volume from this. So it takes a little bit less effort. So if that's worth the money for you, then by all means go for it. But I, I've just been loving it. I think it's just such a fun, a fun product. All right, so last but not least, <laughs> last but not least, you guys, we're going to apply the Marc Jacobs Gloss Stick in the shade Sweet Escape. I need some sleep, you guys. I think that, I think that's my problem. <laughs> I've been loving this just as a quick, glossy look. It's just so pretty on the lips. It's really hydrating. I just love that fun pop of pink. It just it makes me feel put together. It hydrates my lips. It's a great everyday shade. I love this. I carry it in my purse at work. It's just really fun. But yeah, all these products I've been loving. The Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I'm like iffy on this. Because my skin's been super dry, I've really been liking this. But I do find that it does slide around. So I really have to make sure I set it. So I probably won't be reaching it for it in the summer months. But as of right now, I really like it. It gives a nice dew to the skin. Nice coverage for even being a tinted moisturizer, so I have been liking this. And the ABH mascara is just, oh, this is a winner. Love this. Love this so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope everybody out there is staying safe. Be smart. Please listen to the CDC. Stay up to date with what they're saying. Listen to their recommendations. Stay up to date with your local updates. And yeah, I just hope everybody is safe and staying healthy. And yeah, I'm just thinking about all of you. I know for us, we're definitely self-isolating here. My husband is going back and forth to the office for now. He might work from home a little bit more. And I have to go into work, obviously. But we have not run into a childcare issue, thankfully, because of my husband able to come home. So it's been working out. And the hospital has actually been eerily quiet it's it's really bizarre it's, it's oh gosh it has the weirdest it's a very weird vibe there so we actually we knocked down our visitation policy so only parents are allowed to visit and then obviously only essential employees so the non-essential employees are considered you know 
nursing nursing students, volunteers, and then obviously, you know, everybody there to care for the patient, everybody that's there to help the hospital run has to report and, you know, that includes everybody from x-ray techs to respiratory therapists to the doctors to the nurses to environmental staff to supply staff. It's just, you know, it actually it makes me a little emotional because to see how many people are so committed to their job, like we were fully staffed, fully staffed. It's, it's, it was just really cool. But yeah, I hope you, you know, can have confidence in your healthcare system. I know that's easy, easily said from somebody that lives in the United States, but it seems like hospitals are prepared and, you know, as an individual, just like I said, just stay up to date with what the CDC is recommending and listen to the recommendations. But yeah, I hope this is a super scary time. I will continue to make videos. I'm going to be home, obviously, just as much as I was before. So I'll, I'll be here. I hope you guys will be as well. Leave me comments down below. Let me know where you guys are at. Where are you living? What is it like locally where you guys are at? What's closed? What's open? Um... Yeah, I'm just curious to know what's going on in everybody else's lives these days. It's just, oh, it's, a, it's just a crazy time. But yeah, again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. See you guys.